Hey, hey, Scorpio, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your July 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Scorpio, welcome. Some of you have some major choices and decisions in the month of July that you could be making or that come towards you externally that have the potential to really change your life in a big way. It wouldn't surprise me to see some big major arcana showing up in your reading today, specifically the Fool or the Judgment card, because bottom of the deck, we also have second chance. Not only that, in your key theme, we have new life as one of them. That is a big, powerful energy around new beginnings. But you have choices here as well with the strength card and the spiritual toolbox. So it's all about listening to your intuition at this time, focusing on the opportunities that are in front of you. There's the strength. So you have strength showing up twice. Some of you may have strong Leo placements in your chart or Leo season is going to be significant for you. Nine of Pentacles. This is a beautiful energy about getting, getting to a point of financial abundance. If that's something you are struggling with at this time, there could be some new choices made around the home life, the body, your health, or finances, or stability. Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress. And we have the Queen of Pentacles showing up with the Hierophant. Okay, so you're committing to a new path. A new path that has to do with your tribe. And look at this one snuck in here. We have the world. You're completing a really big cycle in your life. Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. Like I said, a lot of major arcana is showing up here for you. So we're going to take bottom of the deck. You're manifesting a second chance or a new opportunity here. Now you have the Choice card, Decision Making. This is options. This is resources, Scorpio. Okay, thank you, Spirit. I just heard the name Sharon. Sharon could be your name. It could be someone that you're dealing with or working with. But you feel like you're between worlds at this time. So we haven't seen the Fool card show up quite yet, but we do have an ending, bringing in a new beginning. Okay, so perhaps July is the catalyst month, but August, I mean, in July... We have Leo season starting. So the end of July, the 23rd, I believe, is when you could start really seeing the physical manifestations of, you know, what you've been working on. Because some of you have dealt with a great loss is what I see here for you. There is some sort of loss that emotionally feels like it set you back. Okay, because you start off with the Four of Cups, but it's in reverse here, which means there is a new offer being presented but it does require you to lift your head up Scorpio and look at a new opportunity that is right in front of you here all right last but not least we're just getting all your cards out here on the table what do we have for Scorpio please from the archetype deck this is one of my favorites the wild unknown archetype you have the crone okay I think we're just going to take the crone. We'll peek at these as well, but the crone is the one that flipped upright. So let's dive in. Scorpio, you start off with new life. This is your main overall energy. This is massive transformation, big changes here. In order for you to have the fresh start that you are seeking, this can be new growth. It can be a new home, a relationship. This is a new journey. For some of you, this could also be travel, right? We're constantly shifting our perspective. We are constantly making choices that alter our destiny. And that's what I see here showing up is there are some significant choices that will be made in the month of July that will shape your destiny in a new way. And I feel really good about this as well with your surrounding cards because you have the strength here. You also have the four of cups and the three of swords, but both of these cards are in reverse. 
So what, if I'm going to see reversals, I prefer to see them in the three of swords and the four of cups because it means you're coming out of a place of misery or heartbreak, heartache, emotional loss, uh, dissatisfaction. <clears throat> And that may be what you're wanting to put an end to. And I see you are doing so with the world. Now, there's going to be choices. Do you want to stay in that energy? Because you can, right? You have that free will choice to stay. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, Mel, why would I intentionally choose to stay in some sort of disappointment? Believe it or not, we choose to do that all the time because it feels you know, it feels sometimes safe to stay in a comfort zone, even if that comfort zone is painful. Sometimes it's easier, right? It's easier to stay in that marriage or to stay in that 20-year job because it requires us to really step into our bravery, our courage, and have that, that self-determination and willpower with the strength card to forge that path moving forward. It requires strength. And I'm not saying you don't have strength. We all have it, but it really brings this part of ourselves up and we doubt it. We self-doubt it. We second guess it. We're not quite sure if it's in our highest good or what the outcome is going to be. So we stay in a box. We stay in a confinement or in a prison of our own making at times. And I feel like the strength card is coming in to remind you Scorpio, to remind you that you're stronger than you think, that there's nothing that you haven't already, you know, gone through that you've made it out on the other side, right? You're here, you're standing on your own two feet, even on the days you've wanted to give up, even on the days where it's been tough, even if you feel like you didn't have another soul to help you. This is about becoming the best and greatest version of yourself, overcoming obstacles, overcoming some major health setbacks. There's something here with health. This can also be about persevering, overcoming a major loss in your life. I am getting some of you, this is a physical loss of a loved one. This could be a loss of a home, a loss of a job, a loss of a relationship, a loss of one's youth as well. Oof. Yeah, this is big where some of you are really going through a period of aging and transformation and you are trying to figure out who you are in this new energy, right? There's an acceptance also and there could be a little bit of a struggle when it comes to this, we have fitness showing up here. So I feel like you're trying to do things that bring about a healthier version of you, a healthier energy, and you're learning more about, <clears throat> excuse me, the spiritual side of you. And Scorpio, you are intense. You are very spiritual. You are someone who dives deep into the occult, into mysticism, spirituality, intuition. It wouldn't surprise me if you have your own tarot cards, your own oracle cards. Some of you may even be readers yourself. This is about creating a sacred space. Some of you may even work with crystals, runes, uh, create an altar. I feel really good about this because you're utilizing the tools and the resources that you have to help you make these choices, to make intuitive choices, to embrace this new life, this new beginning. So this is a really powerful combination that leads you directly towards this new beginning. Without distractions, we have this little fly that keeps coming out here. It lives in this plant, but whenever this little fly comes out, it reminds me of distractions, right? So try not to let your mind distract you. Try to stay on par with your course, right? And we do have the four of cups here, which can be distractions of the past, right? It can be emotional distractions as well. So bottom of the deck, we have second chance followed by shadow work and authenticity. So what this means is, there is a do over here. This is about a better offer coming in for you. It could be a review, a life review for some of you. This is trusting, trying again, rebuilding, and maybe having that clean or fresh start. 
because you see the journal. There's a fresh page here for you to be the creator, be the author, be the paintbrush and realize that you are the one creating this manifesto, this canvas or this story. What do you want your story to look like? And that's what you are being guided to make the choices of truth, of authenticity. You have a unique vision. Some of you, this is an idea that you have. This could be about you being fully honest with yourself about, you know, is this job or this relationship or your health goals or what you're putting into your body, what you're feeding yourself, the people that you surround yourself with, are they helping you or are they hindering your personal growth? This is about possibly getting uncomfortable, right? Being put in an uncomfortable position here, that could be the strength, but it allows you to fully step into your power. And I say uncomfortable position because we have the shadow work. And the shadow work is something that sometimes we must face, right? If we want to evolve, we don't run from the shadow. Some of you may be looking into Freudian's work right? Sigmund Freud uh, may look into uh, the psyche, things of that nature. Some of you, psychology is very important to you, the studying of the mind, but also you could be looking into human design, astrology, learning and understanding more about yourself and your shadows, your wounds, your triggers. You may even be going to therapy or you may have overcome addictions or you're working on that aspect of your Yourself. This is buried emotions and traumas that you've gone through that you're looking face to face and you're saying, you know, I am not letting those traumas define me in a way that suffocates my own truth, suffocates my own authenticity. Because what you're realizing here, Scorpio, is that you are you. You are unique in your own way. You have a beautiful aura and presence about you that other people are attracted to. And it's time for you to step into the light version uh, or for you to fully come out of the closet, so to speak, and really claim your power, claim this second chance. This is pretty deep. And look at, we have detox here as well. So this is eliminating toxicity, healthy body, healthy mind, withdrawing from drama, maybe even going on a cleanse, a diet, or releasing people, places, or things that just hinder your growth. They're not helpful. They actually hold you back. Or the foods that you eat are contributing to, you know, inflammation or to weight gain or, you know, to sensitivities in the body, gut issues. I'm also getting here, some of you, you may be fasting or going on a juice cleanse, okay? Uh, you have a second chance. Some of you may have even been through an NDE, a near-death experience, or you've had a wake-up call of some sort, I feel like there is a healthier new beginning coming in here for you. This may be a healthier option in creative endeavors, your job, this could be love. Now, what do we have here? Your first card out we have is selling. Some of you could be launching a new business, product, services. You could even be getting ready for a garage sale. You could be getting or prepping a home to sell as well, a camper, a boat, a car. Uh, this is also about buying, right? You can't, you can't sell something without having a buyer and you could be the buyer as well. And perhaps you're looking for something new here. Maybe it is a new home or you may be you know, wanting to make a purchase. You do have the sale card, weekend sale. For some of you, I mean, this can of course be boutique or department store, but I feel like what this represents is don't be afraid to look for a better deal because you could get a big savings, up to 70% even. Uh, there is something maybe about shopping online or some of you may be making a purchase. It could be for a birthday, okay? I'm getting balloons here. So someone, I mean, Scorpio, your birthday is not until 
October, but I feel like a family member, a loved one, a spouse, someone could have a birthday that you're shopping for and you find a really great deal on something. Uh, so I like that showing up. You also have resigning and retiring. I mean, that would make sense. Choice, a big choice that leads to a shifting of, of destiny, right? New life. I mean, can we say resign, retire from a position would definitely lead you towards a new life with that world card here. So if you're contemplating it, I feel like it's important for you to trust your intuition and make choices because I see that you have enough, right? Nine of pentacles is having enough in the material world. Or if you feel like you don't have enough yet, you're on the, the cusp, you're on the brink here of bringing about financial abundance. Whatever that may mean or look like for you, whether it's a number, whether it's, you know, property, I mean, whatever it is, look at that unexpected income. I love when that card shows up because in this deck, there can be, there can be unexpected expenses, but you have unexpected income. So there could be an increase in uh, abundance for you in some way, shape, or form. For some of you, if you've gone through maybe a legal matter or some form of emotional loss, there could be an inheritance coming in here, some sort of money that was owed to you. Or, I mean, if it's unexpected, maybe you don't see this coming, but you do, uh, you do recover. Yeah, Hierophant, there's some new commitments coming in. A lot of you are working on, again, repairing either your credit or rebuilding something in your life. Some of you, I'm getting, you're finally finishing projects around the home. So perhaps you needed to get a deck fixed. I also see something with a door. Uh, maybe it's a, a door that has a broken knob or it could be a screen door that needs to get the screen replaced or something with the hinges or maybe it's the, the whole door. I mean, door can be symbolic, of course, for a portal, a gateway, a new beginning. So if it's not a door, uh, you could be starting, of course, this new beginning uh, going, walking through some sort of portal. But I feel like some of you may also be in the construction business uh, or you're pulling out the old nails. Like I always say when this card comes in, you can't pound a nail in that's all crooked and wonky, right? You have to just pull it out and start fresh. So I feel like you are pulling out the old nails of your life, right? You're pulling them out because You've had to face a lot of them. That's why that shadow is deep below the surface here is because you've had a lot of nails that you thought were going to build something, right? It's like they, you hit the nail on the head and it didn't turn out the way that you'd wanted. And I feel like you've been working possibly for the last five, 10 years to pull out those nails. And for some of you, this is actually a physical project that you are taking on that may require, you know, some handyman work. And it's within your budget. There's something here that you will be able to afford, okay? So I feel if you're working on a project or this could be a vehicle, uh, I'm getting here mechanical, you will have enough. You will be able to budget this. There's something here that I feel will be within your budget. It could be a vacation. Uh, it can be, again, a new home. Whatever you're buying, whatever you're selling, you could make more as well. If you are the seller in this situation, because we have unexpected income, you may actually have enough to be able to repair something or uh, it, it's above your budget. So this is really beautiful. All right, let's look at the tarot. First card out, four of cups in reverse. This is about opening yourself up for a new opportunity because some of you felt impatient. You felt, in, um, you felt like the glass was half empty, right? What do they call that? Like Debbie Downer type of energy or you just felt pessimistic even, maybe even a little bit ungrateful for what's right in front of you. Now, I'm not calling anyone out here, but sometimes we get stuck in that zone, right? We get stuck in trying so hard to will. You can see his hands on his head. That's the mind. There's something here about willing these cups to fill up, right? If they would only be full, life would be better. And right over here, you see that, well, not only is he in this doorway, he's holding a cup. And that cup is full. It is brimming with opportunities. But he doesn't see it because his darn hand is in his head and he's trying to will these three cups to fill up. That's not going to work. We can't, 
will something, we have to take action. And the way that we take action is to move our head, look over there, get up and accept the cup. So there is an opportunity here that requires action on your end to move towards a new beginning. And I feel like you're going to because we have the strength, but it may feel exhausting because sometimes we can get into a depression. Four of cups can be depression. It can be self-absorption, right? It can be the need to reach out. We may need someone to help us lift our head and accept this cup. We may feel like our feet are broken. Our legs are broken. We can't get up. We can't do it right? Yes, you can. That's why the strength comes in here and says, yes, you can believe in yourself, Scorpio. You have this innate ability within you, this strength, this endurance, this perseverance. Remember you're stronger than you think you are. This is about self-discipline and the shadow side of us that tends to sabotage, that tends to talk us out of you know, or talk us into things that aren't healthy. That's why you have the detox card. But you have the ability here to really tame that beast within. And sometimes that beast can be, you know, uh, an uproar. Sometimes it can cause us to really look at ourselves from a different perspective. And you can see that she has her hand in the lion's mouth. That requires trust, trust of oneself. It requires patience, patience of oneself. It requires compassion, compassion for oneself. And that may have been a struggle for you at times, Scorpio. Because when you have those things towards others, you're able to see those things in others. Or excuse me, when you have those things towards yourself, right? You are able to see the reflection in your outer world. Now we have the nine of pence showing up. I really love the nine of pence. It is the card of enjoying the fruits of your labor. And who doesn't want to do that, right? We're not meant to come down to earth to work, 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 to hustle, 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 not spend any time with family, you know, not focus on the things we love, not to have a little bit of fun, not to just, you know, feel like we're constantly learning lessons. Excuse me. Even though, yes, we're meant to evolve and to grow, we're also meant to have some fun and to enjoy this beautiful masterpiece that is earth, right? And I feel like that's where you are wanting to be here is enjoying your life a little bit because you've worked hard in this lifetime. You've put blood, sweat, and tears into your career, into you know building what you have. This isn't something that happens overnight. Pinnacle realm, the pinnacle realm is slow. Uh, it's years, right? It takes years and years. There could be something about nine years. And for those of you that are into numerology and you're familiar with personal years, you know that they go in one through nine year cycles. So I am getting, and this is very important, you may want to look into this. You may want to look into your personal year. You add up your birthday, month, and year we are in. So if you're born on, you know, 1021, that's my birthday, by the way, and you add one plus, you know, um, two plus one, and then 2024, that breaks down to, for me, a three, I am in a three personal year, but for some of you, you may be in a nine personal year and you may be completing, you know, a very large cycle that has come in for you the last nine years and you're getting ready to launch a new nine year cycle. Okay. Uh, but look into your personal year. I mean, I see seven here as well. Eight. Okay. Well, maybe I don't see seven. I just heard seven though. I guess I'm not seeing it, but I hear it. So look into your personal year. Uh, that can give you deep insight into this new life and even uh, the energy of 2025, what that may look like because the world is completion. And even though this is a July reading, I feel like it's so much bigger than that for you. Because the nine of pentacles is the energy of creating a life that you love, Scorpio, a life that you are proud of. This is a life of wealth, safety, security, self-sufficiency. Like I said, your hard work paying off, feeling confident, feeling proud of yourself, proud of your achievements, and not needing to necessarily be dependent on others. 
whatever that may mean. This is a sense of independence versus codependence. If this is relationships, that shadow aspect may have been based on codependency, a need to be in a relationship or a need to stay in a job due to, you know, needing something. I feel like this is more of embracing the wants of life, not just the needs. We have three of swords. You've gone through broken heart, right? Who hasn't? But there's something that really caused you to feel set back or you've been sitting in this energy for quite some time is what I get here. Even if you've been divorced for 10 years, right? Or even if you've gone through something and I feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel here. Three of swords in reverse is about forgiveness. It's about healing. It's about overcoming the mental part of it as well because swords is mental. It's intellectual. The swords realm is, you know, the power of the mind. It's thought. It's intellect. And you are moving towards a new perspective here when it comes to healing a broken heart and how to move forward and maybe even teaching others how to do the same. Now, you, you also have the Hierophant. Some of you have disconnected from a commitment, from a family dynamic. It could even be a friendship. I feel for some of you, five is significant. Maybe you're in a five personal year. But I feel like you also are taking a look at the universal laws, right? The Hierophant here is divine guidance, but it's also about the laws that we succumb to, right? Societal laws, governing laws, the laws of, you know, marriage and commitments, what we commit to, what belief system do we commit to? How do we feel? This can be politically, this can be religion, it can be some form of hierarchy. I feel like you've broke out of some sort of conditioning or marriage, or commitment, and you're leading a more spiritual path. And that requires the three of pentacles to find people who uplift you, right? Don't they say that you are the top five people that you hang around with? And I also heard one time that if you are the, the smartest person in the room, then you're in the wrong room, right? Because you want to grow, you want to advance, you want to evolve, and I feel like you are committing to new group efforts. It could be yoga. It could be meditation. It could be joining some new, you know, maybe this is online, Three of Pentacles, right? Three of Pentacles also is about working together. And I feel like there were poor team players in some sort of group, society, something with someone not working with you and that's why there was a separation of energies here but your outcome or bottom of the deck excuse me is the magician in the world this is manifesting a completion this is manifesting some sort of happy ending uh, even after a time of feeling set back or feeling stuck because you're realizing now that you are already whole. You are already complete. It is the conditioning and the fragmented pieces of oneself that feel like they're detaching as we journey through life. You didn't come into this human form broken, right? You didn't come into this human body defragmented right? You came into this human body already whole and it's the experiences. It is the universal, you know, laws, the conditioning, the beliefs that we've gone through that tend to left, leave us feeling less than, but you're coming full circle and you're saying that is not the truth, right? I'm not less than, I'm already whole and I'm going to manifest this opportunity to Bring about happiness to my life. The world is my oyster. I'm going to live like I'm dying, right? And I feel like some of you could even be moving to a beach. There's a beach house. You could be traveling here. This is the magician realizes that they have, they don't even realize, they, they know there's an inner knowing that they have all the tools they need to manifest this life of abundance. I'm hearing go for it. 
do it. Don't put it on hold or pause any longer. This is about personal power. It's using your power to manifest from a place of love, not fear, not lack of, right? When we, what we focus on grows. And if you're focused on what you don't have, guess what we're going to continue getting? We're going to stay in that world and reverse cycle where we know that there's more out there, but we don't necessarily step out into the world. There's something about travel, going above and be beyond in a way, uh, stepping into this victory, this accomplishment, this reward, this celebration, because you've earned it. You've earned this. And if this is love, you've completed a big cycle here in love. And even though you may be 40, 50, 60, believe in the magic of new beginnings, right? Believe in the magic of new beginnings with this magician because the magician is magic. And you've completed a major cycle in your life. And even though the cycle has hurt it is hurt like hell, right? It's been difficult, disappointing, challenging. Trust in the magic of new beginnings. All right, let's take a look at finances, wealth, career, and money. You have the nugget, you have the mask, and you have the anchor. So the good side of the mask is acting, right? It's acting. It is understanding that life is like a movie, right? We're playing roles in, in a movie. And <clears throat> when you come off that stage, you take off costume, right? And that is the true you. And this earthly realm, this lifetime is a stage. It's a role that you've chosen to play. And it's not the all the end all be all. It is not who you are, but some of you have taken on that role so strongly that you forgot that that's not necessarily who you are. And so there is a message here about authenticity showing up at the bottom of the deck. This is your unique vision. This is your inner truth. And some of you are coming back home to that version of you. Now, for others of you, you may have been dealing with someone who was dishonest, disloyal in your career or in terms of money. Maybe it's about secret stash. Some of you may have been saving up for a new life and you didn't want to tell anyone, right? Or you may have been wanting to leave a spouse and you were trying to save some money. I feel like you were saving pennies. Some of you, it feels like you you weren't financially able to head towards a new beginning. And I feel like you are now or you're right on the cusp. There are some big changes here happening for you, Scorpio, uh, but it may have felt di very difficult at times. This is also about the unknown, trusting in the unknown. It's hidden potential, right? It's hidden. It's what's below the surface, which you have some really great ideas. I do feel for some of you, you could be writers. You could be uh, into wellness, nutrition, health. I also see some of you are healers in the form of maybe therapists, coaches, mentors. This could all be part of some hidden potential that you are tapping into that could really bring about some beautiful uh, opportunities for abundance. You do have the nugget, which talks about honesty. And with the mask card, are you happy, right? Are you moving? How can you move forward? Do you need additional help with that three of pentacles? Don't be afraid to ask for support. So many times, myself included, when we grow up in conditioning behaviors, right? Hierophant, where we are taught that we must survive on our own in some way, shape, or form, it can manifest as a very you know, singular adult energy where we don't rely on other people, but it can also be that we reject help or support from other people. Not, sorry, I can carry 15 bags of groceries on my hands. I don't need help, right? Or no, I can do this by myself. And it can bring about 
you know, rejecting opportunities in all different forms. And some of you may be saying, well, Melissa, how does an offer, one offer to, to not carry, you know, 15 bags, how does that, but we start to build that up, right? We say, no, we got this. And then the next thing, no, I got this. And we start to build this resiliency towards support and help because we've been conditioned to have to rely on ourselves. And that may be changing here for you is, you know, help is here in some way, shape or form, but you have to be open to it. And it takes an unlearning, right? It took me uh, a while to unlearn that it is okay to not have to just be so strong, so stubborn, so independent where I can let people in to help, right? And I feel like that may be something you are lifting with the anchor, but it does require an honest assessment, a deep dive into why or where that conditioning came from in the first place. And is it helpful or is it hindering you? This is about a small increase. It is about valuable information coming to light. Some of you, it's career building, steady work, and a fresh start. See, there's another energy of a new beginning. And some of you have been through some sort of blockage, money block. Maybe it has to do with that independence or stubbornness or lack of support, lack of help. It can be about, you know, water, water related. We see that with the world. This can be about travel with the world. And you may feel stable, but I feel like there are big changes that do lead to some hidden discoveries that are going to change everything in a really big way for you. All right, Scorp, when it comes to love, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. For those of you, this could be a family dynamic, travel, right? Connecting to loved ones, opening your heart up and not allowing that three of swords, not allowing that pain to disappoint you or have you focusing on the pain, right? With that four of cups. Remember that that child, some of you, it could be your own children, it could be opening up to love again and not, if you weren't seeing something clearly, I feel like you will keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Maybe your usual type isn't necessarily healthy. Okay. Detox card, shadow work card. Maybe you going through a major disappointing relationship or loss. For some of you, it was very deep with the shadow it may have brought out versions of yourself that you didn't even realize you had. It may have brought out childhood wounds. It may have brought out parts of you that you needed to work on detoxing within yourself in order for you to really become authentic and really to show up in a way that you never have possible. So you can attract the type of love and commitments that you really want. We also have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. For some of you, this could be Independence Day here in the United States. July celebrates Independence Day. Uh, if you're in a different country, which this almost looks like Paris, France. I just heard New Zealand as well. Some of you could, uh, I mean, I don't know if there's any specific holidays in Australia, but I feel like uh, there is some sort of maybe second honeymoon or a honeymoon period. This can also be holiday time, which we do have the world. So I feel like some of you could be traveling. And when it comes to love, remain open because that is what we are here on earth to do is remember that we are love. Okay. Remember that we are love. Now from your soul's truth, are you ready to let go of this buried shame? There's something with the four of cups that holds you in some sort of shame. The feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in what? You live in darkness. You live in the shadow. What part of you, Scorpio, is ready to stand in the light? Is there a shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed? Maybe you have healed this. Heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. Fill in the blank. My soul's truth is blank. For those of you Scorpios who would like to be entered into the free reading giveaway, I want you to drop your soul's truth in the comment section below the video. My soul's truth is blank. 
My soul's truth is I am loved. I am worthy. I am honest. I am authentic. Whatever your soul's truth is, I want you to declare it. I want you to say it out loud right now and drop it in the comments. I will enter you into that free reading giveaway, but also it is a declaration. It is putting it out there into the universe. I believe in you and I believe in your soul's truth and I want you to as well. What are the dominant emotions that run my life? Now this is important because remember, we start off with that four of cups. Four of cups is trying to find emotional stability. Fours or are about stability here. <clears throat> How do you fill your day, Scorpio? Stress or joy? Trust or anger? Anxiety or peace? We have only today, right now, the journey. No goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. But when we begin filling every day with that which we value most, we will attract more of it. That is fulfillment. That is also the world. The world is the card of fulfillment. You're getting there. There's something you're shifting up here. If only your perception of life, right? This could be internal. It may not even be anything in the physical, but it is the way that you view the world that makes all the difference. Lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values, and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief? There's the Hierophant. Are you willing to let go of that belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? There is a level of achievement. I have to achieve this first and then I'll be happy. I'll have to, I have to be in that relationship, then I'm, I'll be happy. What if you told yourself you're happy today and then you planned your life around your happiness instead of waiting for it or, or manifesting it, wanting to manifest it externally first. What if it begins within you? And lastly, do you believe you're worthy? You are worthy. You are deserving. You are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you, Scorpio. Go out and claim the life you've dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. Thank you, Maya Angelou. Today's soul action, for a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? Your mantra should be, I am worthy of it all. Yes, you are, Scorpio. Don't you forget it. You are worthy of it all. We have the crone showing up here as your archetype. Now, of course, we'll peek quick at the other ones because sometimes in these archetypes, if you have other cards that are very significant, very important to the crone or to whatever card shows up, uh, it's, it's significant. So we'll just make sure I'm just finding the crone here for you. This crone, I feel like this series has been showing up for a lot of, a lot of, um, signs this month because there's a trifecta, right? I think, think it's like the mother, the crone. Uh, this is about the witch, the old woman, the sage. And this <laughs> does remind me of Scorpio energy. You guys, I love you. I have so many places of Scorpio in my chart. Um, tons of Scorpio. So I'm right there with you. I get you. But this is the witch, the old woman, the sage. The crone has seen it all. Nothing frightens or surprises her. She is the final manifestation in the feminine trifecta of maiden, mother, and crone. In her long life, she's witnessed endless cycles of death, sex, failure, rebirth, conflict, and regeneration, giving her the ability to rise above the world of duality. She laughs at notions of good or bad, right or wrong, as she has seen the earth churning, smoldering, taking life and giving life. The crone energy accepts everything in, devouring beauty and suffering with the same mouth, using their energy to reveal hidden secrets and knowledge. Her energy resides in all of us, though it is feared by most for its power and unconventional relationship with death and the macabre. Awakening, the crone is dangerously rich and unapologetically magic. When this shows up as the light version, which 
We see the light here, but we also see the shadow. So you've been through it. Like it says here in this card, the light is magic. That's that magician. It's clairvoyant. It's psychic. It's intuitive. It's wise. It is Scorpio energy to a T. But when it shows up as the shadow, which you've, you've been in the shadow, right? It's vindictive. It's bitter. It's isolated. It's ostracized. And so some of you, those are part of your life themes that you have come here to grow, learn, and evolve from. If you want to go deeper, take a look at uh, some of these deities or goddesses, Lilith, Baba Yaga, Hecate, Dumbadi. It says the crone has a difficult time tolerating superficial, petty, day-to-day -day musings. She moves away from such relationships and seeks a deeper path, even if this means a more solitary life. Now, the Nine of Pentacles can sometimes be solitary. She can be single, but she's created a sense of independence for herself, where it doesn't mean that there will never be love coming in, but she knows her worth. Right. And maybe that's part of some of the lessons here is knowing your self-worth. The crone is the master of letting go and residing in what is. She rejects nothing. The crone is often seen with the crow smoke. Uh, the crow smoke night and the moon. OK, so let's just take a quick peek at what the other two cards were for you here. We have the thread and we have the hunter as well. We're not going to read those ones here for you as your reading is already getting long, very long. But if you have this deck, you may want to look into it or maybe it has the, the meanings online. But I definitely feel like the crone was your energy here because you're not dealing with superficial. You're not dealing with petty, right, day-to-day -day musings. You are in search of more meaning, more enriching experiences of the soul. And that is what this new life is all about. Scorpio, that is what I have for you. I'm loving this intense reading. I hope you guys like it as well. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, comment, and hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already. And I would love to hear your soul's truth. Drop it in the comment section below. Lots of love.